thank you so much for meeting me here i mean it's such a beautiful day it's really sunny it's getting sunny now because the sun is rising and i was really hoping that we could meet a little bit earlier before the sun comes up but that's fine thank you so much for being here thank you so much for taking the time out to journal with me i have some really good intentions um for this month that you can check out on my other channel and yeah some affirmations so let's get into it so i'm gonna introduce my journal it doesn't have an, it doesn't have a name or anything but this is my journal this has been my journal from last year july i got it from julie and i really like decorating my pages along the way so i brought some tape so we can share girl we can share so you can start by heading up your journal or whatever you usually do and if it's your first time it's okay i can guide you so i like to head up with the date and today's date is today i'm gonna go with um like this tape it's like a pink floral tape <laughs> yeah okay so the first question that i want us both to answer is what are your top three blessings so far for this year Okay, so I'm finished with my three, so I'm just going to read them to you. Um, so my number one is, being able to travel to a place I've always wanted to go. So that would be top, because I have really wanted to travel to this country for a really long time. And so that's a really big thing for me. My second one is, finding new people to love. I'm always really excited about like finding new people, new friends. Um, I love meeting people, especially genuine people, not just, I mean, I like meeting anybody, but when I really connect with somebody and I can talk about like deep stuff, I can do stuff like this with them, like I'm doing with you and just vibe without feeling like the constant anxiety. That for me is a blessing. So that has been one of the things that I've been really grateful for this year. And the third one for me is having the support of my family and friends. H having somebody that supports you and like, just cheer you on and just love you no matter what. That has, that, that's priceless to me. And I'm so happy that I have that in people on this earth, in this lifetime, in this century. I really need that and I'm happy that I found that yeah so the next exercise we can do is um, use one word to describe how you're feeling today or a line one word or a line so i'm gonna go with a line
finish <laughs> all right so my line would be i'm feeling excited but i'm also tired because i stayed up last night editing two videos so i'm like i'm really excited for this day because i don't know what the day will bring and i really want to go adventuring but these bugs girl bugs under my eyes nope <laughs> so yeah all right we're gonna move on to number three all right i thought about this um, before i left to come here um but what is a truth that you believe deep down but you're too scared to admit that's that's a deep one i don't even i'm not even sure i'm going to write for that but let's see what's a truth that you believe about yourself like you know deep down but you're just scared to admit that And you can always pause the video um, if you feel like you need more time. That's okay. I'll be here waiting. <laughs> Same. Um, They're giving me a hard time. Yes, yeah, so I like to decorate the corners like this. And while I do this, I guess I can give you the next one, which would be what is your intention for today? And when I say what is your intention, I don't mean like oh to go to the supermarket or oh to study, read a topic or like that i mean what is something like give me a theme for today so for example my intention for today would be um oh that bird scared me yeah my intention for today would be to live an experience or ex live an experience that i haven't done before that's very wide and so I think that's a good intention or you can something that will help like benefit you emotionally not so much a task so yeah so what's your intention for today or your theme for today All right, so we have two more. So I realized I didn't read one to you. I didn't read um, the truth that scares me. And that is, I have so much potential. Like I have so much potential. And if I tap into that, I can really do great things. That that's affirms me, but it also really scares me because deep down, I think I'm scared of my potential. I'm, I know all the things that I can do and I can be. And I know the steps that I need to take to get there, but it just scares me right now, at least. And so I don't like to admit that. So yeah. Alright, so the next one would be... And I'm just thinking them up along the way. <laughs> okay, write something 
kind to yourself that you believe you need to hear now. Alright, so I'm finished now. Um, so I'm gonna read mine to you. And I wrote, Your body houses your soul. Anything capable of that power is priceless, beautiful, and secure. I am deserving of the best treatment and love that the world has to offer. So that's my kind thing that I think I need to hear. We're coming down to the last one now. So the last one would be what is something that you can add today that will make today better so what's something you can add to today that will make today a better experience for you so Alright, so I'm going to read my last one to you. I can listen to more music. I feel like I don't listen to enough music. I always bring my earphones and I always listen, but not as much as I want because there's always interruptions and you know how it is when you get interrupted while listening to your favorite music. So I can try to listen to more music and I can also try to stop worrying about the next big thing or the next best thing to do I feel like because i'm used to being responsible for like travel or like big adventures and stuff like that i'm always trying to enjoy myself but at the same time i'm like all right all right what we're going to do next we're we going to eat what what time we're going to leave all right when do we need to go here when does this shop close you know so i feel like i need to just live in a moment today um because today is my last full day here and just be so yeah thanks so much for being here with me this morning i hope you come back see is always here for you and um let me know if you want me to do more journal prompts and more videos like this i also have I'm not sure I'm gonna post this yet. I might post this on my main channel, channel, which would be a big thing for me. Or I just post it on my mindfulness channel. But yeah, share this with a friend. Invite more people to come and journal with me. And I love you guys so much.